Hi, this is Tweek. In a previous episode, we made beaded cluster balls. They are just beautiful. Do you want to see what we're going to do with them next? Then join us. We made beaded cluster balls. They're absolutely beautiful and a bit complicated. So we devoted an episode to just slowly going step by step into how we actually created these. It's a pretty simple process once you get the pattern down. If you'd like to see how that's done, click the link here. So now I've got all these beaded cluster balls. What am I going to do with them? They're beautiful all on their own. Set them somewhere. Any place they can catch light. I held some up to the sun. They're just brilliant. Then I got to thinking, what else could I do with these? They're so brilliant. I want a little more light. Sun's not always available. So I thought of these little lights. These little candle lights and actually this size bead sits very nicely onto this LED light. And it's got a candle flicker. It's quite pretty. You could set these all up, put them in a window, put them on your desk. Very festive and cheerful. I wanted a little more light, so I found some lights online. They are LED submersible lights. And they're just small enough to use underneath one of our crystal balls. There's an on and off switch that comes with them. Again, beautiful. You could set it anywhere, but I wanted more. I wanted more stability. So another idea came to put these in a container. They are submersible, so you could put them in water. But I thought, put them in a vase, something with glass, set these in and let all that light reflect through the cluster balls. Okay, now I have this big old pineapple sitting around. And what would happen if I filled this full of the crystal balls and added some lights? See how much fun you can have? just run through your house, find stuff, load it up, set some of these little guys down here. They're not going to go anywhere. And put this carefully down on the top. Now what happens? Turn it on. Pretty. Let's see how it looks in the highest setting. Okay, that's like a really pretty night light right there. But again, I like the fade where I can see the different colors. Same idea, the light, the crystal cluster balls, and something to hold them in, whatever you'd like. I had other ideas too. How about something a little simpler than a giant pineapple? Take these out. You can see once you make these cluster balls, they're really durable, about the size of a baseball. Wouldn't want to chuck them very far. They're heavy too. Take my lights up. Let's use something a little simpler. What about just a little candle holder? And put one light in there. And put one cluster ball on top. And now what do you have? Same effect. Isn't that pretty? A little more stable than just setting it right on the light. Another idea was, let's try something really simple. And here's one of my favorites. It's a real heavy jar. I think it was a cookie jar at one time. You could decorate these with stencils. You could put ribbons around them to help hide the lights if you don't like to see the lights. But I'll put, see how many I can fit in here. I think it's because the glass is a little bit, got a green tinge to it, that this was so pretty. And I put three lights in this one and load it up with some beaded clusters. See how many will fit in there. It's not that many really, but the effect is really pretty. Let's see, I thought I got some more in there last time. Here we go. Well, let's see how that looks. Okay. Turn on. Take them out. Versatile cluster balls. My fingers are stuck. But what if we wanted to use a different container? I got an idea. I went through all these jars and things around the house. And then I found this. And this is a 
wooden container. I thought that would be really pretty. I put a little bit of paper in the bottom and I'm just going to line up the little lights. I think it takes five in this container. Well, let's make that six. I'm going to turn them off. Everybody off. And I'm going to start up again. They're all on one color. And now I'm going to actually add one more. There, so I've got LEDs all the way through. Submersible LEDs. And now I'm going to just pile on the cluster balls. I like this because of the versatility. I'm going to add different things to it. So we got five bead cluster balls in there. This looks really, really pretty. You could do something as simple as adding in fabric around the edges and just letting this be, let's say for winter time, you wanted just the white. So you could add sparkly fabric. See? And you could make it a really pretty winter time light. And if you want it to be winter time and not Thanksgiving, turn it around and there you have a place for a ribbon, a bow, however you want to decorate that. It's so pretty. But I wanted to go further. Take this out. I thought, well, what about Thanksgiving? Throw it back. And I went outside and gathered up some things to put in here just to see how they would work. I like the way the fronds will reflect the light and you can use the cluster ball because it has holes in it to kind of tuck things in. So I'm going to just take grasses that I picked out of the garden and I'm just going to tuck them in. You could add fall leaves. You could add a pumpkin or something like that. That one's a little big, but you could do that. I'm going to keep going until I like it. these old flowers from the bush out there and I thought these would just be pretty too. I'm trying to make a fall looking and you can use the holes so that just sits in there. See, I think this is turning out pretty. I'm just playing around here trying to think of well, what could make this just really set apart on our dining room table and I think I have one more here. I shall make use of. How, what do you think? Do you like the looks of that? So if you do, you can go ahead, turn it off, and turn it back on, and choose your color. Would you like a green, a blue? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I just love it. That's Thanksgiving. Well, what about Christmas? Christmas. Let's take all this stuff out. We're just having fun here, figuring out what is a good use. Let's flip this around because we're not past Thanksgiving. We are past Thanksgiving. Now this too, these came off a bush out front. So I'm just going to take these holly berries and just tuck them in. I might tuck them in facing me this, well, this time. It's kind of hard to load it up backwards. Make use of the spaces that are already in the cluster balls. When I started making these, I didn't expect to use them this way, but the ideas come together. You find the container, you find the lights, you have the crystal balls, and look at how pretty this is becoming. Stick one over here. And we have a little more here. You could add some ferns. You could add whatever seasonal plant you'd like and it makes a very I think beautiful table decoration something to put anywhere and it looks pretty what do you think yeah looks like it needs a little more too might want to throw in some of those grasses but my final thought here we're coming up on October and Halloween we've got our cluster balls Let's make them a different color. Let's go for yellow. 
There we go, nice and bright. And I'm going to use some bats that I have found. And what's nice about this stuff is you can pose it and position it. So let's see, I'm going to try to go taller in the center this time. And see how nice it just goes right into the, the crystal ball and it just sets there. It, it does exactly what I'd like it to do. And I don't have to use foam or glue or anything to make it stick. This is nice too because it can be viewed from any angle. So I'm going to put that one there. And stay. Yes. And I'm just going to fill it in. sticking out over here and I'm almost played out with these decorations one of the many ways you can play around and use those cluster balls let's see bright white ooh that is a little spookier and there you have it a beautiful very original cluster ball centerpiece <laughs> what can you do with those cluster balls? Once you make them, you can do anything you want. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, have fun. Build some cluster balls, make them your own. See you again.